Welcome back to math. Today we're going to talk about understanding division of fractions. Understanding division of fractions. As you notice, I have one square that is shaded in. We call it 1. Okay? Ooh, look. We've got how many here? How many do we have there? Two. 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 Nice. And if I was talking about these, we have three. Three. Well, how can I turn this in? How can I turn this one into a fraction? Well, have we cut it up into anything? No. But it's in how many pieces? Well, one piece, right? So this would be one over one because it's one big piece. Hasn't been cut up. How about this? How many pieces has it been cut up into? It hasn't been. So it's just one big piece, right? So that is our bottom number is a one. Now how many squares do we have? Two. We have two. So that means we have two over one. That's equal to two um, squares that have been shaded in. Now, how many do we have here? We have three. So we have three boxes. We have none of them are they're all in one piece, right? So that means we have one piece and the three goes on top. That means we have three boxes and they're whole boxes. This is that we have two boxes and they're whole boxes. And this is one box. So it's one box and it's all in one piece. We have one whole box, right? How many pieces is this cut up into? Well, this is cut up into fourths, right? So we have one, two, three whole boxes, and they're cut up into fourths. So our word problem would go something like this. We have three candy bars. We cut them up into fourths. How many fourths do we have? Total. How many fourths do we have? Total. Well, we have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, 8 fourths, 9 fourths, 10 fourths, 11, 12. So we have 12 fourths. Does that make sense? We have 12 fourths. Now we can prove that drawing by doing it as a multiplication problem where we could take our three, we put it over one. Why do we put a one under the three? It means we have one, we have three holes, right? Three holes. And then we could flip, flip the fraction on the right. You need to say that a bunch of times. Flip the fraction on the right. And then we do the opposite sign, which would be multiply. So, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 1 times 1 is 1. Hey, look at that. What is that equal? 12. It equals 12. And if you notice, we got that on both of them, didn't we? So, this is checking our work mathematically. We did it right. Let's go down to our next problem. Okay, what do we have here? We have two boxes. They've been cut up into Third. thirds. So the question we would have is that let's say we, sorry, I'll call these candy bars. Let's say we have two candy bars. We cut them up into thirds. How many thirds do we have in this one? How many thirds? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So our answer is six. How could we prove this mathematically? Well, we have our two, right? How do we show that as a fraction? We put a one under it. Then what do we do? We flip the fraction on the right and do the opposite math activity, which is multiply. That's why we do the flipping. It's like doing the opposite um, um, operation. Two times three is six. One times one is one. Six over one equals six. We got the same answer, didn't we? So we proved it. What about this one? Well, we have four candy bars. We cut them in half. 
how many halves do we have? How many halves do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight halves. Question becomes, how do we prove this mathematically? We put what under the four? A one. We flip the fraction on the right. That means the two's on top, the one's on the bottom. We get to multiply. Four times two is eight. One times one is one. Eight over one equals eight holes. Right. So that means we have eight halves here. Everybody sees that, right? Excellent. How about this? We have three thirds. I put the thirds in the other direction. Let's pretend they're all equal. So, how many thirds do you think we have? Well, we know we have one, two, three thirds, right? And we have three thirds here and three thirds here. So we can actually just do this if we wanted. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine. We got nine thirds. That's another way we could do it, huh? How do we prove that? We have our three. What do we put under it? One. We have to have a one. Put our multiplication because we're going to flip this guy over. Three times three is nine. Nine. One times one is one. And this equals nine holes. Excellent. How about this one? Ooh. Now, notice this isn't a one on the top. This is a two thirds. How do we do this problem? Well, we have three candy bars and we're gonna keep them in, we're gonna cut them up into two thirds, okay? Because we're on a diet. We can only eat two thirds of a candy bar at a time, okay? So what do we do? Well, here's what I would do. I would circle the two thirds. So I'm gonna circle this two thirds and I'm gonna circle, ooh, here's another two thirds, isn't it? And then here's a two thirds. And then here's a two thirds, right? So how many two thirds do I have? Four. I've got one, two, three. I got four. I got four of them, right? And if you notice, I have something left over there. Now we're talking two thirds, right? So I'm going to draw out this two-thirds for you. I'm going to draw this one out right here, okay? This would be our two-thirds now, wouldn't it? But I don't have, how much of that two-thirds do I have? I only have half of it. So this would be four and a half. Because if you notice, I only have half of the two-thirds. So that's how it's four and a half. Okay, that was a tricky one. I hope you uh, you did it. Ooh, look at this. If I wanted you to write this out, could you write this problem out? I have six boxes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, I cut them up into what? What do you think I cut them up into? Three thirds. I cut them up into thirds? No. No. The colors are not. Half. They're half. Well, this is one box right here, right? This is one box. And how many do I have in, in, in orange? Two of the three. So I'm actually gonna divide this by two thirds. I have six boxes. And I'm gonna say, how many two thirds do I have? How many do I have? Well, I've got one here, right? I got two here. Of these two, I should change my color. Let's go with purple. Then this is three, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, and I got nine. I have nine two thirds on that one. I hope you saw the uh, pattern there. What do I have here? I have one, my box has been cut up into what? One, two, three, four, right? 
So I have one fourth, and I'm going to divide it by three. I have one fourth, and I'm going to divide it by three. Okay? That should give me what? I'm going to cut it up into three. Did I cut this up into three? Yes, yes I did. So one fourth. Divided by three is just this area right here. It's just this. That's all we're talking about. It's just this this part only. It's only this part. So what is that? That's one of twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? So it's one twelve. Now, how could I prove that? By doing what? flipping it over, right? So the one would go on the top, the three would go on the bottom. Do you see that? How I flipped it? Okay, one times one is one. Three times four is twelve. One twelfth is my answer, isn't it? Outstanding. That's how you do um, division of fractions. Watch it over again as many times as you need. I love math.